Hi and welcome again. Uh, let's um, let's add some feature to this uh, cylinder head. I will uh, add, like I said to you, that's the location of the um, camshaft. Let's start from uh, here. Uh, if you want to to position your um, your model like this you have just to see this one okay they like uh, the reference let's start and see from this now I have to add line here this line I will add another line pass through the middle okay then you can convert all of these like construction now go to rectangle use uh, a rectangle two point center the center start from here and here then you can convert this and project it convert it to um, construction and i have to fix this okay then now you can add these uh, add these uh, distance we have 25 here and uh, 12 i think here okay and you have to add relation horizontal between this and this one that's fully defined now oh, add another rectangle here 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 okay we have 10 here from this to this one we have seven and uh, i think that's all we have just to add 14 here then i will add another line here to make mirror mirror to mirror this part mirror okay now we can go to 3d model revolve select this area click cut here and the axis select this like an axis and click ok then select this i will add two holes here to add two holes i will click here and from here I will add hole of four millimeter the distance from here we have six and from here we have the five then uh, mm -hmm. I will add line to add no I will I can't I think I can project this I want just this one no without uh, without wasting time I will add another from here we have six and from here we have five 
then other relation equals to this one and this one then you can go to 3d model extrude it click cut here and put uh, 20 I have to select it I forget it okay and click OK now we have to select all of this then uh, mirror okay choose uh, work plan to like a mirror click OK then you can choose all of this rectangle select this axis like a direction put 6 here and 90 here and switch the direction click OK uh, now this is the time to add the location of the injector injector okay I think you understand me what's the meaning of the injector because this this uh, engine is the diesel engine okay we use uh, um, gasoline okay let's uh, let's um, choose this work plan and go to sketch you have to see your reference like this and go to wireframe here and start your line from this to the middle and finish it here then then add the line from here I don't know what from here we have 70 click OK then we have 15 the last one we have 20 then finish the sketch now we have just to add it to here or if you want other relation between these is better then go to dimension add the dimension here 3 here 5 here and 7 here the last one is 15 here your sketch is uh, one dimension needed what's this dimension is needed this one I will add this one like this one now fully constrained now we can go the same thing revolve it use cut here choose this like an axis the profile is this one and click OK and we have this result you have to have this result if you have any error then you add the error not me uh, do the error okay uh, now select this then go to rectangle start from this point to this point and go to 3d mode and extrude it cut select this put here 5 click ok that's all then you have to repeat this six six times not six six times I go to where is it rectangular choose the distance we have six times we have 90 degrees and switch that direction and now I will add the uh, see from the top like this okay you have to see top and X Z axis here then select this face not this select this one and click here 
Um, here in SOLIDWORKS users, I did an error here. The error is I select this uh, this face, but I have to select this one. If you if you one of you um, use SOLIDWORKS, uh, I did an error. I have to start from here. No, oh, I understand me. You understand me, I think. Let's start by a rectangle from here to here and add uh, add what? Add uh, mm, distance. Distance, distance. L let's leave this like this. And here, no. And here we have 20. Then from here to, to this point, I want this. I will delete this. I will add this one 45. The thing is fully defined. Now add a line. You know why this line? This line is to be a line mirror or mirror line like this. Click apply. Then uh, it's okay. You can use this one like you could. Choose this profile and put here 30. You have to repeat this seven times, not six times, seven times. Put here seven and here 90 and switch the right direction. You see that we have this result. Now you have to add the location of the bolt, the bolts the bots let's uh, let's choose this you understand uh, me i think now i add this because i have to put bolts here uh, many people asking me to give them the 2d plan sorry i don't have any 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 2d plans then let's continue our work. I will add uh, points to add holes with this feature. Okay. Then from here I told you to put four forty five. Then uh, then from here again forty five. It's like a cylinder block. If you remember, we have 45 of an X45. Okay, I will repeat this uh, like, oh, where is it? Where is it? Why? He's here. And we can convert it like this one. Select this and go to mirror. Select this like a mirror and click apply. Done. Then you have to repeat this, but not with the feature. I have to repeat this with this one. Then select this one like uh, direction and put here 7 and um, 90 here. Uh, switch the direction, click OK. And we have this result. Now, without clicking finish sketch, go to 3D model and click all. Here you have to select this. I don't know what's the name of it. Of it. Of it. Then here click DIN. Uh, what we have shoes. I have to choose what? What's the name? Socket head cap screw. Where is it? It's this one. 
No, it's Izo. Izo. Yes, is this one. Then uh, the size we have to put twelve. I did mirror. I have to choose this counter bar. Counter bar. Okay. You have to put a counter bar here. Normal and click OK. We have the result. Uh, you have to you have to save your file okay uh, the next we have many features to add it's time to to leave thank you for watching and see you next tutorial if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in comment and thank you for all subscriber uh, thank you thank you very very much see you